Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN InfoTech Tutorials. Today I am going to show you how to create loop lines in Microsoft Word. The first technique is a rough technique. The second technique is tough but it gives beautiful and perfect result. For this technique to work, you will need to save this to old version if you are using 2010 or latest version. So first go to file, click on save as then from the save as type select word 97 2003 document give a file name and click on the save button if something prompts you can simply click on the continue button so once you have clicked you can see the compatibility mode on your title bar next go to the view tab and turn on the grid lines by clicking here. The grid lines helps align the objects by snapping them to the grid. Now let me show you the first technique. Go to the insert tab, click on shapes and then click on the curve. Now click and do what I do. So first I will start a point from here and click here, click here, click here, click and come and click here click 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 and repeat the steps once you're done stand up Once you are done, press the enter key. Now let me show you the second technique. So before I show you the second technique, I would like to show you how I have constructed this. So I have used arcs to create this kind of loop. So let me ungroup this and show you the independent components. So I will go to the format and ungroup. So if you, if you click carefully observe now here is one arc and here is another arc let me give it a different color and here is another arc and this is again another arc so now if you have a closer look you can see that this one bigger arc is constructed within nine square grid so within the nine square grid and then this these two are in one single square grid so now I'll go to the insert click on shapes then click on the arc now draw an arc so it should come make sure that it comes within nine into nine square grid I mean nine square grids so now copy this by holding control and clicking and dragging then go to the rotate and click on flip horizontal now just drag it and place it here just like this so you can see that see these this is this per particular portion uh, resides within four square grid so now we will need to create these two arcs so you can go to the insert again shapes click on arc then draw an arc so that it comes exactly i mean fits within one square grid so now you will need to rotate this just rotate this to 90 degrees and then click and drag and place it here now duplicate this by holding control and clicking and dragging then go to the rotate again and click on flip horizontal then drag this to the other side so here you have completed one loop now we will need to group this together so to, to do that again select one of the lines go to the format and sorry uh, go to the home tab take click on select select objects select all the objects together go to the format 
group and click on group so this groups them together now you can start the copying process so you can just hold on the control and click and drag to make multiple copies just like this make sure you are placing it properly So when you click and drag, you can notice that the ob object is exactly sits on the grid line. That that's because of the object snap option. This is how you can create loop line in Microsoft Word. I hope that this tutorial is interesting. Please like, share and comment. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do it now. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, it's bye from hbninfotech.com.